My name is Scribes. I'm a hip hop and R&B artist, and I'm from Seattle, Washington. Uh, I started rapping when I was 15. When I got to that high school age, it was, for me, I was thinking, you know, it's kind of time, it's time to pick your, your talent that you're going to stick with, that you're really going to develop. And it just happened to be that rap made the most sense. So I went in to record my album um, with some local producers, producers that went to my high school when I was about 15 years old. And we worked on it for about three or four months. And by the time September came around for my junior year in high school, we finished it. We went out passing out CDs and everywhere, you know, giving it out to all the kids and um, pushing it around at Bumbershoot and at local festivals or whatever. And by the time I'd gotten to that point, I kind of made my mind up that this is what I was going to do with my life. I wake up, you know, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm Henry Cleveland, assistant apartment manager, you know. I take care of my responsibilities and, you know, I'm the dude vacuuming the hallways and cleaning up the, the dumpsters in the back, you know. So 12 p.m., 1 p.m. comes around and I go from being Henry Cleveland, the assistant manager, to either Scribes the artist or Scribes the business person. I have time to either work on my music or just to spend the time to, to take care of the business that needs to be done. You know, sending out emails, contacting videographers, graphic designers, photographers, booking shows. You have to be constantly interacting with, with your fan base. You know, you gotta be on Facebook, Twitter, email, whatever, and just make sure that you know that the people who reached out to you are appreciated. I finished my day at the boxing gym. Um, I've been training since I was 14 years old. Um, you know, I'm on and off. Sometimes I'll, I'll lose it, but it's always kind of been a part of my life. I work there as the gym is like a, a part-time trainer too, helping out or whatever. But no, it's a good place to end my day. I'll probably be training, you know, on and off boxing for the rest of my life. I'm not rapping. It's not. It's not just like a, a childish type of like release. You know, a lot of people like it brings out that kid in them, and they're able to. It's not like that for me. I think, it, like I said, I don't know what I would be doing if I wasn't rapping because it's like being influenced by Tupac and Martin and Malcolm. I don't, I don't know if it was necessarily fun for them either, you know? Um, and I'm not putting myself in that box when I bring them up. But I'm saying like, it's just kind of, it's your fulfillment in life, I guess. You know, that fulfilling um, your, uh, purpose in life, I guess. So I don't know where things are going to go. I mean, I just, I, I keep working hard, you know what I mean? Stay focused, but I, I, I really don't know where, where things will go. And that's kind of like, I feel like that's part of adulthood in general, is that you realize there's not really a finish line ever. You know, I feel like once you like cross a finish line, you're kind of reaching death, you know what I mean? Like once you're, you're too satisfied, it's kind of like the end. And when you don't have anything to do, you kind of wither away. And, and I certainly don't plan on withering away. You know, I just like, there's too much that I want to do, too many things that I'm excited to try and, and see where I can take things. I mean, I really have no idea where things will go. For updates on any of my music, upcoming shows, or to download my new album, What Was Lost, hit up scribesmusic.com. Are those socks matching, or are they just? <laughs> this is a matchup player. Are they just? No, my girl always just fucking. Said I wanna see you roll, roll my way, so we can get drunk and smoke weed all day. It don't matter.